Hello and welcome back guys to the another part of our V-Ray for tutorial. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make a zero twist for. So uh, basically the zero twist for twist for are used mostly used in towels and like hand and bath, uh, hand and bath uh, ut uh, utilities. So uh, let's take a look at our difference first. So here I have two reference, one close-up reference and one is uh, from the orthographic uh, perspective view of our towel. So uh, in this towel, we can see that uh, the fur is in the uniform uh, vertical, uh, vertically rounded fur in here. So basically the fur are like the twisted loop of our fur. So twisted, it is like twisted round. So to make this kind of uh, fur, uh, uh, we should uh, take a take in mind. We should keep in mind that uh, certain things, certain parameters of our V ray So let's get started. So first, I will create a sphere, default sphere, and uh, let's put it up. And and let's convert it to the editable poly, and let's create the v-ray for here so now this is the default value uh, to create the zero twist for keeping always mind that you should put the length always to the zero let's put the length to zero and put the not value to 16 and let's go to the call call radius and turn on the call and then let's turn on our uh, let's increase our call radius so let's pull it uh, to 0 0.1 first 0 0.1 as you can see some of our little hair are popped out and let's bring the number of call to one now we can see that uh, there is rounded for let's go to perspective view and take a closer look now we can see there is a rounded for or zero twist for it is the shape is like zero so uh, it is known as zero twist for mm, so if you want to increase the size of uh, the uh, zero twist don't go to the length variation sorry don't go to the length parameter always work out in the call radius if we increase our call radius you can see the uh, diameter of uh, our zero twist for is also increased so basically uh, the zero twist for is created here so and let's take a look at the direction and the rendering so to change the direction of uh, the zero twist for keep in mind that uh, always uh, always tweak the parameter of a bend direction map this will give you the uniform uh, uniform uh, uh, this will create the uniform uh, uh, direction in the for so let's create the v-ray color maps and let's zoom it up zoom it and let's apply this to our bend direction map rgb color so mm -hmm. as you can see that when we plug that map into our bend direction maps uh, certain direction is changed here so this is and now let's change the color parameter and let's bring out our render render engine uh, v-ray so let's bring our v-ray frame buffer okay and then let's do the quick render uh, in render we can clearly see our v-ray for uh, zero twist for so uh, let's go let's go let's go and tweak our thickness first let's let's ma make it to 0 0.01 now this is very small let's make it to 0 0.05 uh, this is now somehow visible like a for zero twist for thread 
so as we can see that uh, it is in random uh, the gel twist for is in a random direction so to bring that in a uniform direction let's go and increase our for to 20 or make let's make it 10 for now okay now we can see that the, the fall is very random so uh, let's go and change the value of red here this will show you how the direction of form uh, for in a very uniform direction let's increase this here as you can see the for is now vertical zero twist for is now vertical it is fully vertical and uh, let's change the direction variation to zero this will create more uniform zero twist okay let's change the curl variation to zero and gravity variation also zero okay now we can see the very smooth rounded for here so uh, whenever i put the value of red to 255 it is completely vertical the four is now completely vertical as you can see here now let's increase the call radius to 0 0.3 this will bring out the more uh, roundness in our four to increase the length of the zero twist for don't go to the length parameter always increase it from the curl radius as you can see here the for is very rounded okay now this is in the vertical direction and if you want to uh, make it to the uh, horizontal horizontal direction of the uh, zero twist for let's bring that back to the 128 default value you can see it is now in the vertical direction also we can go increase this green value okay now we can see the difference difference here by uh, when we increase the red very red color value to 255 the four is in uh, upright direction or vertical direction and when we increase uh, our green value default from the default value uh, the uh, for variation is in uh, the horizontal horizon the for position is now horizontal so this is the way how to create a v-ray for zero twist for uh, zero twist for in the v-ray so uh, if we take a look at our reference so if we take a look at our reference we can see uh, the position of our for it is also like uh, the horizontal for which is rounded so uh, that's it guys and let's let's uh, let's bring let's assign the material here let's make the blue color for here uh, let's assume that and let's make the v-ray uh, v-ray material sorry v-ray material and let's assign this to our selected for select the for and let's assign to the selection okay and now uh, let's let's uh, let's for the more rounded for and for the more soft to bring out the softness in for you should always increase the knots of the for so let's apply let's apply the uh, fall of map here this will create the more softness in our for so let's apply to our defaults diffuse okay as you can see here the color is changed and let's let's make an ivory for the gray or uh, suppose or let's let's make this this kind of for this kind of color so mm, let's make the view let's bring out the v-ray color let's select let's select our color here let's increase the brightness okay and let's bring it down 
apply this to the map one and apply this to the map two by increasing the value of our color okay and let's assign some let's assign this also to the uh, to our sphere so basically our for zero twist four is done here and let's stop this render and make it uh, make the turbo smooth on for our sphere this will also bring some changes in the density of the fur and let's do the quick render let's save it and let's do the quick render i'll see you guys after the render Okay, now we can see our zero twist for here. And let's bring, let's increase our for value to 20. Uh, the uh, number of for uh, may vary according to the model shape and size of the face for area and for face so uh, it's, it depends upon the size of the model the part the number of count depends on the size of the model so let's let's uh let's do this render okay let's bring a little bit down call our call radius and let's do the render so this is a very quick way to create the zero twist for Okay, you can see the four here and another thing we can also change the direction of our four uh, very in very uh, significant way like by changing the uh, oh, let's go, okay let's go to video color let's bring our map color here color map here and let's select this and if we take a look at uh in uh, for our four in the uh viewport you can see this four is perfectly horizontally aligned to our sphere so if we change the hue color here we can also change it to the vertical and random direction so if we if we now let's let's increase our four here let's bring up to five so we can see our four is perfectly aligned in our uh, horizontally aligned in our sphere so let's change the view value and we can see it, it will go in the various direction it will also align in the perfectly horizontal perfect perfectly vertical and randomly uh in the random in the direction so let's increase this as we can see the four changes according to the color variation now it is completely now it is completely uh, vertical so this is the way to uh, create the video for zero twist to video for guys hope you like it and that's it for today guys see you around in another tutorial guys